You're watching Game Show Network. Everybody in this audience has a money stake in one of our celebrity couples. Playing for the red section, writer, actor, Pat McCormick, and actress, Carol Lane. Playing for the yellow section, from Happy Days, Tom Bosley and his actress wife, Patricia Carr. And playing for the blue section, director, actor, Sam Weissman, and his wife from Knott's Landing, Constance McCashin. Places, please! As we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattle Tales! And now, here's the star of Tattle Tales, Bert Convey! Hello there. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Tattle Tales. This is the last shot we will have at these three couples. No, let me put that another way. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the last time they'll be with us, and I think we've, uh, we've evened out the wins pretty well, have we not? Uh, who's, who's won? Has everybody won one? Twice. They've won twice. This one's won twice. Carol I don't think we've won at all. Yeah, we, I think you yes, did. Yes, you did. You won one, and yes. we won one. And you we won did one. Win one. That yeah. went four. One, so far, two, I'm ahead. And so far, you're ahead, but uh, everybody's won one, and that's fine. I, you know, you, you guys really are snappy dressers, I must I say. I want to tell you, Bert, what? your clothes are not bad either. Oh, I well, wish thank I could you. have your clothes. This look is very in now for women, what you have on. That's right, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. That didn't come out right either. <laughs> I, I something like that, only you it's black. Some boys are such big girls, and, and some love girls it. get to be such big boys, you know? Y yeah. <laughs> I've always said that, I like yes. The way said that. <laughs> Wait a minute, the guys, we, we forgot about them. Oh, who needs it? Bring Bert them on. Girls. Yes, girls. Yes, I'm out here with uh, Bert's Angels. Hello, Hi, fellas. Jane. Nice Hi, to man. see you. Here we go. The first question is for you, as you know. Uh, men, our magic genie is going to make you invisible for an hour. You can spend that hour at either a secret conference in the Oval Office of the White House, a discussion of you by your business associates, or in the dressing room of a bevy mm, of Playboy bunnies. Which would you choose? Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, I heard the college guys like they're going. Rah, 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 rah. Uh, yes, the oval, a secret conference in the Oval White House, a, a, a discussion by you of you by your business associates, or in the uh, Playboy bunnies dressing room. Where would the Sam like to find himself invisible for an hour? Well, I think in terms of the White House, maybe he'd probably not like to know what, uh, where our future lies. Might be less known, might be better. And then in, in terms of his associates, not all of that might be positive. So he might feel worse having been privy to that. But the other would just be plain fun, you hey, know? Hey, just like fun! So yeah, I'm sure he'd love it for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. for an hour. For one hour only, he'd be <laughs> invisible in the Playboy Bunny's dressing room. Here he comes. What a guy. Hey, Sam. Yes. You're going to be totally invisible, sir. Where Karnak. Karnak yes. says, <laughs> says a discussion of, uh, by my business associates. Uh, Karnak would be wrong. Like I said, wrong. the answer is two humped camel. Wrong, Tattletail's breath. That's, <laughs> that's not what she said. May a stork kick you across Ventura Boulevard. No, no. she said, uh, guess where she said. She probably said the dressing room. That's what she said. Yeah. She was wrong, wasn't she? Yeah. Why would you want to hear what your friends have to say? Would that be Maybe I'd learn something from it. Oh. Constance thought it might disappoint you. No. She oh, did. Thanks, honey. That's well, she didn't say I it didn't quite use like that it. word. That's no. Bert's word. That's my Upset, word. Upset, you probably used. Not that either. You'll see it when it's on the air. Sorry, <laughs> Sam. We'll but deal with this later. Patricia, what will Tom say? This is very difficult. Tom would be very interested in being in, in the White House in the Oval Room, I think. And it would be great fun for him to be with the Playboy Bunnies. Oh, this is shaking your head no. Uh, so, I think really that he... <laughs> she wants to know if he's a swinger. Well, kind of with me he is. But, he's... I think he would find the White House really exciting, Bert. Okay. But I think... Oh. You got an applaud. One person in the banana section agrees with you. What do you think? What are you going to go for? Okay, I'll go with uh, the, the Oval Office. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, here, here he comes. That's right. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Tom, uh, you'll be invisible for one hour. Where are you going to choose to spend it? Well, uh, to watch business associates talk about me would be boring, and to be in an Oval White House conference would be even more boring. So I think I'd add a little spice to my life and head for the Playboy. Uh, no, that's not what you said. <laughs> 
She said the Oval Office in the White House. Now that means Carol and Pat got a chance to get the whole thing for the banana section. I mean, for the red section. Yes, somebody led you down the path. What do you think, Carol? What will Pat choose? Okay, I just saw the Invisible Man, and he asked about you. He did, eh? Yeah. And he thought about yeah. me. Yeah. Um, I think business associates. Uh, Ronald Reagan could be taking a nap. Nothing's going on. Um, he's had the bunnies. I mean, Mr. Hippity Hop has been the bunnies. Yeah. I think um, knowing more about what's going on with you. Of the business better. associates, right? Yes. Yeah. All his business associates, of course, are crazy about him. They all know he's... Yes. Wonderful oh, writer and funny. Great. No, she said yes. You say no. She wins. Here comes Pat. Pat, you can be invisible for one hour, and you can also get all the money from this first question. Well, uh, my business managers are, don't like the way I invest. I mean, big man shop in Tokyo and deck chairs on Three Mile Island and uh, <laughs> doggy bag factory in Bangladesh. It just, why don't they win? The Oval Office, I wouldn't. I think in the uh, Playboy. Uh, uh, no, that's not what she said. <laughs> Everybody missed that one. Well, we're off to a flying start. The next question will be worth $300. We'll come back and play for that after this little message for you. Where would you spend an hour if you were invisible, huh? Oh, wouldn't that be fun? My, my, my. Hey, everyone. I'm Nancy Sullivan. This is Game Show Network. And now it's time to... Game Show Baby! <laughs> That's right. We've compiled some pictorial representations of your favorite game show celebrities in their younger years. Here is a productive and happy youngster. When this lad was feeding the chickens, he was called Milton Hines. Taking on a superstar alias, he went on to inspire a dance craze called The Mouse and to host his own kids' show. Do you know who he is? We'll be right back. I like having fresh-smelling laundry every day. So how do I keep things fresh every day and not spend my life doing laundry? Simple. I switch to Bounce. No other sheet keeps our things fresher day after day. That's the unbeatable freshness of Bounce, which is time-released slowly to help your laundry stay fresh for up to five days. Bounce helps us look and feel our best every day because it helps keep our things fresh and static-free. For freshness that stays up to my day, turn to Bounce. I've been dancing all my life, and to do it right takes 100%. It's not just eating right or exercise. It's the way it all comes together. It's the total effect. And for me, it starts with total. No other leading cereal gives you 100% of 10 vitamins and minerals to help you feel healthy, vital, and alive. Because putting 100% in here could have a total effect on what you do out there. Total. Total Raisin Bran. Total Corn Flakes. Get the total effect. Just look at that cute, smiling face. Now, this wacky guy became a regular panelist on To Tell the Truth. If you don't know him yet, he is the ever-popular Soupy Sales. Pretty obvious now, huh? Well, whether you name this one or not, be sure to keep it tuned in here because we are going to continue looking at great game show photos on Game Show Network. Game Mac Baby! That's right. I'm Nancy Sullivan. See you soon. Okay, here we go. Uh, we'll try see what happens on this one. Um, fellas, uh, <laughs> there was a lady in the banana section. Couldn't believe you all didn't say the bunnies. Um, men, My husband did. Yes, he did. When you were little boys, you all had dreams about the future. What percentage of those dreams have come true? Is it closer to 25%, 50%, 75%, or more than that? When you were little boys, you had dreams about the future. What percentage of those dreams came true? Okay, off you go. Uh... Okay, I'm thinking about how you, how you interpret the question. What did you what did they dream about being? Yeah. But this doesn't have to be that. This could be even more general. The percentage of those dreams, what percentage of those dreams have come true to be rich and famous, to be successful, to be it could be a lot of things, couldn't be it? Married well, to what? It could be have a happy marriage. It could be anything. Patricia, what do you think? What will Tom say? I think Tom's been very, very lucky in his life and I think he's been he's very happy also and i'll say 75 percent he said 75 wouldn't that be wonderful to have 75 percent of your dreams come true you bet you bet well see also That's i was thinking great. when you're a little boy you want to be a fireman we probably have two firemen and a policeman here he yeah, wanted to be an actor like he wanted to be an actress he since wanted he was a to be time. an actor and by joe one day somebody pointed to a book and they said that's him that's the guy okay here he comes <laughs> what's the percentage tom what do you think tough question uh, almost everything i i wanted uh, or dreamt for myself as a kid uh, I've gotten with possibly one exception I wanted to be a great athlete uh, or a sports announcer because I was just a sport nut 
But I would say on a percentage basis that 75 percent. That's exactly right. Seventy-five percent ain't bad. Yeah, you wanted to be a Chicago Cub, didn't you, Tom? Yes, that's the tough twenty-five percent that's <laughs> killing me. <laughs> I got news for you. They could use you. Even now, they could use you. Carol, what do you think? What will Pat say? Okay, you've done another numbers question? Yes. Gee, thanks, mister. I never got out of basic math. I never got to algebra. I'm One sorry. Minute. Okay, what are the numbers again? Uh, the numbers are 25%, 50%, 75%, or more than that. Of his dreams have come true. Okay, he's a little boy. He has marbles and frogs and uh, things like that, a bike. Um, and he wishes and he wants, and he gets and he got. So, he still probably has one dream left. So, it'll be the 75 one, I bet. You think 75? I don't know. I mean, I hate these numbers. Well, he's I very successful, really... but the most know, successful but comedy writers in this he business. Has, he knows how to handicap things. He knows about, like, odds. Yeah, and odds. He is. Yes. So, you're going to say 75? Yeah. Yeah. Here he comes. Pat. Hey, Pat. Give, hey. Us, a, give us a percentage, sir, will you? Uh, my parents wouldn't allow me to sleep. I had no dreams. Whatsoever. I understand. Boy, they were that life was rough. I, I would say it's done well. It's either 75 or, or more. I will say 75. That's correct. Wow. That's a hard question, too. Struggled with this one. Really struggled. How wonderful it is to, to be an adult and be able to say that 75% of your dreams have come true. How wonderful that is. I don't know. What do you think, Constance? What will Sam say? Well, uh, there's one thing Sam always wanted, which is obvious he doesn't have, which is to be very tall and black and play for the Lakers. <laughs> so that's at least 25% off I the top. I know he's a huge basketball fan, isn't he? Um, and, uh, gee, he's Jewish, you know, which makes him all, you know. Um, a little uh, Never mind. <laughs> worrisome. Worrisome. Thank you, Carol. Um, but he has had enjoyed a lot of success. Uh, um, I'd say 75%. You'll say 75 I hope I am, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. The lady in the blue section said, I hope you're right. Before. Here he comes. Sam, it's uh -huh. up to you. We're looking for the percentage of your dreams that have come true. Oh, this is tough because when I was a little kid, I dreamed about doing things like becoming a professional baseball player or things like or fireman, you know. But I would say I have a lot to be thankful for. I have a great wife and child, and, and I'm not poor. So I would say uh, it's tough, though. I have to guess 50 percent. No, she said 75. Stuck with the Jewish. Yes, you should have gone with your instincts. No, Jewish. Constance said 75, but Patricia and Tom and Carol and Pat are right. Oh. Split it in the half. It's halftime, guys. If you will step to the rear, ladies, we'll bring the gentleman out front and continue <laughs> with the second half of Satterfield after the session. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second half of Tattletales, starring director-actor Sam Weissman and his wife from Not Landing, Constance McCaffrey. From Happy Days, Tom Bosley and his actor client, Patricia Carr. And writer-actor Pat McCormick and actress Carol Wayne, right after these messages. They overcame a lot that summer. Fear of cream spinach, creatures that wriggled. Then she faced her greatest fear using bleach on a favorite green whoopee that just had to match a favorite green dinosaur. Luckily, this new cheer with bleach alternative had something special that didn't just clean, but helped keep that color bright, which brightened their moods when it got dark. Yes, really dark. New cheer when your color's on the line. A one and a two and a three. What's the only show on television where it pays to be a liar? That actually hasn't been uh, documented. Sure it has. It's To Tell the Truth with Gary Moore, the most charming of all game show hosts. I'm quite impressed. Here's how it works. Three contestants claim to be the same person, and then a celebrity panel tries to figure out which is telling the truth. That was a game we played in Pittsburgh, honest. Well, now it's played every day on Game Show Network. Don't miss To Tell the Truth, where honesty is not always the best policy. You're watching Game Show Network. Attention homeowners. Coming your way now. Special savings on Sears Durable Chain Link Fencing. 
Help make your yard safe and secure while you enjoy special savings from Sears of 50% on selected chain link fence fabric with the installation of an exclusive Sears Armadillo 10 fence system. Call this number now for your free in-home estimate. Save 50% on selected lines of chain link fence fabric. Heavy duty chain link fencing available in your choice of heights. This is a limited time offer, so be sure to call Sears today. Enjoy greater privacy and peace of mind. Have Sears install a chain link fence now. Get your free in-home estimate and get satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. For installed roofing, gutters, doors, and fencing, call this 800 number right now. Improving your life by improving your home. I got a free ride. I dropped my card, excuse me. Aha, we're back. Uh, we've changed places. I have three gentlemen with me and, and a two-way tie. Patricia, you and Carol are tied with 150 bucks a piece. What happened, Constance? It's not my fault. That's true. Uh -huh. Oh, it's my fault, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said you had 75% of everything you wanted, and you see it as 50, honey. Well, what, you know, what about the heiress? Now he's I was supposed to marry an heiress. I didn't tell him that. Sure. I wanted to marry an heiress. What about the boot? <laughs> Never Peg mind, guys. What no. boot? Hold it. No, Wait a minute. That's not your wife. Peg Lake Bates has got something. Who brought about. boobs into this? Hold on a second here. I'm Where did I lose it? I'm fighting about the last game. Oh, I first. see. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fight. Listen, here's the question, ladies, carefully. One night you get accidentally locked out of your house. That's not a, sw a sentence. One night you actually, yes it is. One night you accidentally get locked out of your house wearing only a bath towel. Would you try to break into your house or would you go immediately to a neighbor for help? What would you do, ladies? Huh. Goodbye. Interestingly enough, uh, we'll find out what the fellas think about it. And Pat, you seem to find some amusement in this. Yes, it's like... What would like, Carol do? I don't know. I, I found my uh, G-spot in the lady next door. But no, let's see, the... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that being uh, a, a, a very trusting and a very uh, wonderfully uh, open and uh, depending on the kindness of strangers type of person, yes. she would go next door. She would definitely go for help? I think so. You really think so? Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't want to care to tell us where she lives, would you? Uh, yes. By the way, they're renting the place next door. Hey, <laughs> there'll be a traffic jam yes. tonight. It's she would go next door for help. It's a fraternity house. Yeah, yeah. oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> Oh, you animals. Here she comes. Carol, what would you do in a case like that? Gee, I've never heard Gene Krupa play uh, The Best of the Cow Spills before, but it was beautiful. Oh, I'm glad. Okay. Um, I could uh, accidentally lock out of my house and I got a tell him. What do I do, right? Yeah. I make friends yeah. uh, with the neighbors. You go to the neighbors. That's yeah. what the man said, and you'd be right. <laughs> Sam. What do you think Constance would do? This is a tough question. It is? Yeah. Because, I mean, the implied is what would she do first? Exactly. I think first she would try to break in, even though we're good friends with our neighbors and all that, you know? Well, maybe, maybe she wouldn't, though. It mean, would mean breaking a window or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, she'll go to the neighbor. What, what do you think? No, that's not your section. Don't ask oh. them. What do you think? <laughs> don't ask the bananas. Now, what? I've been screwed up all day. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll tell you you should call a cab, but they don't uh, yeah. Take a walk. What? <laughs> neighbors, neighbors, neighbors. A lot, of, a lot of them are saying break in, too. But see, if you've only got a towel, what are you going to break the window with? Neighbors, you neighbors. Have to wrap the towel around your I go hand for the neighbors. You'll say the, the neighbors. Here yeah. she comes. Constance, what will you do? There you are. You're locked outside. All you've got is a towel wrapped around you. Uh, well, our neighbors all have keys to our house, so I would go to a neighbor. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> your neighbors all have keys to your house? <laughs> Three of our yeah. neighbors. Well, how wonderful. You must yeah. have wonderful neighbors. We do. Cheating. We yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, they also have no silver left. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have no silver, honey. Okay. <laughs> uh, why is that cheating, Tom? Because their ha neighbors happen to have their keys? Yeah, sure. Well, we played into their hands. They know that when they wrote the question. They, they need the money anyway. Okay. Tom, what do you think? What would Patricia say? Boy, this is really tough. Uh, to go next door uh, would be nice, but uh, the neighbor, that doesn't mean that Patty would be able to get back into the house until someone else came home. And I don't think she'd like to stand outside in a towel, especially if the weather's kind of bad. I think she'd try and break a window and get back into the house. I guess it also means, too, if you go to get the neighbor, what's he going to do but help you break into the house? I guess. Well, or take else wait until I come home or somebody else come home. That's true, too. Give her a robe, maybe, or something. Yeah. But you think, no, she's going to try and break in the house. I'm going to take a chance No, he's that. a burglar. Uh -huh. Here she comes. 
Patricia, what will you do in a case like that? I, well, I think the word here for me is night. It's nighttime. And because it was daytime, I'd probably go lay down on my patio and just enjoy the sun, unless it were raining. So, um, I probably would go right across the street to, uh... A neighbor. A neighbor. That's not what he said. He said, no, he thought you'd try to get right in. Right, Tom? That's what I said. That's what he said, That's which means you're wrong. Friday. Constance and Sam, Carol and Pat are right. Split it in half. The blue section gets on the board. Anybody can still win. The $300 question is coming up, and we'll play for that in just a moment. The brand new limited edition Disney Winnie the Pooh postage stamps are now available. The International Collectors Society is now offering the only collector set ever issued to commemorate the evolution of Winnie the Pooh from a real bear born in Winnipeg, Canada to a cartoon icon beloved around the world. Demand for this limited edition set has been so overwhelming, experts are already predicting this set will be prized by you and your loved ones for generations to come. Not available at your local post office, you can only get them through this special television offer. The complete set of stamps is only $9.95. You'll also receive a numbered certificate of authenticity and a protective display holder. But that's not all. When you order, you'll also get this beautiful Disney Winnie the Pooh airmail stamp, an $8 value absolutely free. Remember, you get the legal tender Disney Winnie the Pooh stamps, a numbered certificate of authenticity and protective display holder, all for $9.95. And when you act now, you'll also receive this stunning Disney Winnie the Pooh airmail stamp, an $8 value absolutely free. There's a limit of six per household. Call toll-free now. Orlando. Or every time you visit, everywhere you go, Orlando, something else, come and say hello. Always something different. Always a design. A vacation of a lifetime. A sight to see for everyone. It's fine, it's gonna show it. You never ask for it. Orlando. It's fine, it's gonna show it. You never ask for it. Work. They've been in captivity a long time. You're covered. Okay, here we go. This one's worth three hundred dollars. This will decide it. It's close enough that anyone can win. But listen to this, ladies. In most divorces that you've been familiar with. Did you think there was an extramarital affair going on? Yes or no? In the ones that you're familiar with. Goodbye. Oh, it's an interesting question. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I got my answer. What do you think, Sam? God. What will Constance say? Now, she may know about what something you that you don't know about, by the way. There's an extramarital affair going on. Yeah, in most divorces that you have been what familiar with. Take a vote. How many say yes? Yeah. How many say no? Okay, I'll, I'll say no. You don't think so? I don't know what she thinks. Yeah. I, I would say well, probably... Well, what she knows now, you must know some, some, yeah. things, some divorces... The thing is, a lot of come. show business marriages that break up really don't break up because of extramarital affairs, just it's the stress of the business. So, yeah, you know. that too? I would say no. You'll say no. Yeah. Okay, here she comes. We'll find out. Constance, you need the money. Here we're down the last, the home stretch now. What do you think? Well, the few people that we know, the couples who've broken up, uh, they... It's only one that I can think of where there was an extramarital affair. So I'd say, uh, no, it wasn't. That's right. That's what he said. All right. Moving uh, down the line, Tom, what do you think? What will Patricia say? This is very hard because uh, Patricia never discusses reasons why her friends get divorces. Mm -hmm. And I don't ask. Uh, so I'm going to say yes. Yes, she thinks that, yes, that's true. But you know some people in common, certainly, that have gotten divorces. Yes, I do, but I think the question pertain pertains to Patricia. To her. So she may know things about it that you don't know. Yes. And you think the answer you're guessing is that there is usually someone else. Yes. Okay, here she comes. Patricia, we're getting down to it now. You obviously can still win. What do you think? Well, you know, Tom and I have only been married for three years, and, and in that time, I think together we've only known one couple that were divorced, and Tom really knew them better than I did, and so Tom came home with the story. And yes, there was an extramarital affair going on, so that's it. So the answer is, yeah. you're right, that's what he said. <laughs> 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 right. 
if he's got his own copy. Yeah. Okay. What was that, Tom? What were you saying there to Sam? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, okay. Nothing dear. We'll discuss That's it after. Good. Thanks, darling. Thank you. Uh, this will decide it, Pat. If you win, if you get this right, you're going to win the game. If you don't, then uh, you're not going to. No. Uh, don't uh, be nervous. Well, I, Carol and I looked through those gossip uh, papers for screwball articles, like a man sits up during autopsy, things like that. Yes. <laughs> And you're, you're always reading about the affairs and things. I'm going to just guess yes. You're going to say, I, you're gonna, guessing really, though. Yes, yes. Well, now, you know a lot of people in, in town who've uh, been divorced, especially in our business. Yeah, I mean, if, if we went real narrowly about, uh, you know, just real friend, good friends, I would say no. But I think in the overall picture of people we know about, it would the answer would be yes, there is somebody else. Okay, like all right. Here she comes. We'll find out. Carol, this will decide the game. If you get it right, you're going to win for the red section. Gee, you know what they just played to? Goldfinger. <laughs> Wonderful. It seemed like perfect. Hi. Okay. Hi. And the personal divorces I've been personally involved with, like my own? Uh, no, not necessarily your own. Just okay. the ones you... But that, too, if you'd like. Sure. Okay. Got to add those, because that's the personal touch. Um, I'd say absolutely, sure. That's what the man said. You're right. Everybody's right. We split it three ways. Time is up. The red section wins it. Close to. We'll come back in a minute. Give the red section their money. Don't go away. Two seconds. I used to think color safe bleach? Maybe to brighten, but on stains like barbecue sauce? Come on. Then my sister, my cousin in New York, my best friend, told me about Ultrabit. I was surprised this was a color safe bleach. That's better on stains than mine. While the leading color safe left this barbecue sauce behind, this tough stain was no match for Ultra Biz. No more barbecue sauce. For me, Biz is the best. Biz saved these jeans. Biz really works. I'm telling my friends, Ultra Biz is the better stain getter. I love it. <laughs> Attention homeowners, coming your way now. Special savings on Sears Durable Chain Link Fencing. Help make your yard safe and secure while you enjoy special savings from Sears of 50% on selected chain link fence fabric with the installation of an exclusive Sears Armadillo 10 fence system. Call this number now for your free in-home estimate. Save 50% on selected lines of chain link fence fabric. Heavy-duty chain link fencing available in your choice of heights. This is a limited time offer, so be sure to call Sears today. Enjoy greater privacy and peace of mind. Have Sears install a chain link fence now. Get your free in-home estimate. And get satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. For installed roofing, gutters, doors, and fencing, call this 800 number right now. Improving your life by improving your home. Hey, what are you doing for the 4th of July? Because I want to invite you to one amazing party. Pardon? Oh, you want to know who else is going to be there? Oh, well, one or two of my closest friends. Muhammad Ali, Desi Arnaz, Pearl Bailey, Jack Fanny, Walt Disney, Duke Ellington, Annie Griffith Affleck, Hitchcock, Bob Hope, Buster Keaton, Jerry Lewis, Liberace, Groucho Marx, Barbara Streisand, Sarah Les Danik, uh, well, and basically everyone who's anyone from A to Z, because we'll be celebrating the ABCs of the Red, White, and Blue and Game Show Network once you. Big winners today, the red section with Carol and Pat, $325. We had 1000 the red section will divide $1,325. Nice going, gang. Thank you for being with us this week, and thank you at home for watching us. Stay with us next week, another great group of people. See you then. Bye. In addition to cash awards, remember the winning rooting section selected at random will also receive... Maximum strength cortisone 5 relieves both itching and irritating rashes. Cortisone 5 gets under your itch for soothing relief and help and healing. The Presto Jumbo Griddle cooks heaps of food, and the Silverstone Nonstick Service makes cleanups easier from Presto. What's silky smooth and feels good all over? Eau de Soie, the new woman shave cream with nature's lecithin. Eau de Soie shave cream for women at fine stores everywhere. Sunday Delight Florida Citrus Punch brand contains a delicious blend of three different juices, orange, tangerine, and lime. Nothing you likes you like Sunny Delight. From across the Pacific comes Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils, plus this attractive Hawaiian Tropic inflatable rack. This Find out what folks do to earn their bucks on What's My Line later at 2.30 Eastern. Coming up, get the facts with Gary Moore and to tell the truth next, only on Game Show Network.
you're watching Game Show.